express how excited I am to finally be in my second trimester. So I am in week 16, which basically means like officially first trimester ends at week 14, which I thought it was 12, but it's 14. I'm like finally <laughs> beginning to feel like back to myself again. First trimester was honestly really tough for me. I didn't vlog or like get any sort of footage because like I just felt like shit throughout the entire trimester. I feel like I got every single symptom under the sun. Um, my nausea was quite extreme. I had really intense smell and food aversion. So like, you know, for Kellen, he couldn't cook in the house. He couldn't wear any fragrance. Like everything just, just gave me like gag reflex. It was really intense. They have anti-nausea wristbands that you basically wear like when you go on like boats and stuff. So those are my best friends. Saltine crackers are my best friends. The fatigue was really intense, but I really feel like the fatigue I was like, okay, great, I could just sleep it off. So that was fine for me. I think the other symptoms were really intense. I like threw up in the beginning, I had morning sickness. So I had the whole lot. I think what I try to remind myself in those moments is like, when I have like the nausea, when I have the morning sickness, it's because my body is literally creating life, which when I take a step back and the fact that our body knows what to do without us telling it what to do and it just knows how to create human life is freaking mind blowing because I'm so grateful for this. Um, Make emotional. Um, I'm just so grateful for this um, experience and I'm so grateful that I'm pregnant. So I think that's what I try to remember. Um, I definitely took it out on Kellen. So there's that, but he was such like, he was such a rock for me guys. I was such a baby in first trimester. So if you are currently pregnant and you're in first trimester, just, no, it gets better and you can do it ah, second trimester the energy comes back you know like your nails are really strong your hair grows really fast yeah i'm so excited to be being you guys on my pregnancy journey i guess kind of part two this is week 21 last week which is week 20 we just got done with pretty much like the final really important ultrasound which is your anatomy scan ours lasted about two hours and a half but it says it can go up to like four hours so basically they check for a whole slew of things and you get to look at like every single body part internally and externally you can see the baby's heartbeat like the baby's brain like all of her limbs I heard that people get really nervous about it. So in preparation, I did a meditation literally right before. I think it was actually just really exciting because Kel and I went together and you get to just like see your baby and be with your baby for like the longest time you've ever been thus far. So it was so cool just like seeing her. She was like super active. I feel like it's a big sigh of relief because we got that one done. And then I think we're just waiting on our last set of blood work. And then of course, let's continue to monitor it. Big update. And then Kel and I just had our pregnancy announcement shoot. That is so cute. The bump is bumping now. The bump is bumping. I've been like going to some events and it's just so funny. I'm like, can people see it? But I've just, my outfit, what I've been wearing is literally just like an oversized black blazer. I just close it up. And I feel like you can't like really tell too much. I'm really, really excited to share this with you guys. Um, you guys will see this video way later because this is going to be for like the full term of pregnancy. But yeah. Actually, one more thing. So I was watching um, Desi Perkins' TikTok and she made this great TikTok. She was starting to keep a pregnancy journal and I love that idea. So I just did it in my notepad and I can, I don't know why I was on brown. <laughs> you write like what you're feeling, what you went through, what you experienced and you write it like dedicated to, the, to your baby. So as if you're talking to your baby. And I think it's so special just for like us to look back. Okay, now I'm really done. This is week 24. Literally at this point, I am more than halfway through my pregnancy, which seems so wild. Like time is literally whizzing by. So I feel like I'm trying to be like really present and also just like document everything. I just started taking like Polaroids, which I highly recommend. And then also just doing like film photos mixed with all this that I'm doing. I feel like every time I see you guys, I keep changing my hair. And then the next time I see you guys, my hair is actually gonna change again because I am going back to black hair. I've been dyeing my hair for 10 years and I just feel like my, my priorities are just shifting. And I'm like, I don't want this high maintenance. I don't remember 
I'm not sure. Anyways, we've announced our pregnancy and I'm like so happy that like the news is out and like you guys all know, I feel like it was like my secret. I'm just so happy we get to like celebrate with our friends, celebrate with our community, celebrate with you guys. So I'm just so happy the news is out. And also it's wild because I feel like a lot of people are pregnant because I feel like I announced it, another friend announced, and then another friend of mine announced like a week before me. So it's all, it's, it's happening. I'm so excited seeing just like my fellow friends be pregnant. And I think since I'm pregnant, it's, I love seeing their pregnant content too. The baby, very active. I feel the baby all the time. And especially when I go to bed at night and they, like I read articles that that might be like their schedule. So like whenever they're active in your stomach is when they're gonna be active like out in the world. So we'll see. Baby is active right when I lay down for bed. It's been so exciting. Just like feeling the baby kick. I feel like progressively so I feel more connected. Even just when I do like my belly care, I've officially started having conversations with the baby, started singing to the baby. Also, Kellen felt the baby kick for the first time. He was already sleeping and I woke him up and I was like, oh my God, feel my belly. And he felt like the tiniest kick. So I think we're starting to feel the baby from outside, so it's so exciting. I'm just like loving this period. I feel like I'm just trying to like soak it all in. Like I'm telling you, second trimester is honeymoon phase for a reason. Your energy and like your clarity and your creativity, they're just like all revved, all back. And your appetite's back, just like all the symptoms of first trimester have just like eased. Now there's new symptoms, but I honestly don't mind it. It's like, I get like lower back pain, I just got, it's called Charlie Horse, where like your leg cramps. I just got that for the first time. Got heartburn. But compared to first trimester, I'm like, that's fine, sister. Well, I just wanted to show you guys this app. It just has the most like lifelike 3D imagery. So fascinating. Like what a time to be alive. This is 26 weeks. Me and my dark underarms. Welcome to 26 weeks, guys. Also, I dyed my hair, it was time for a change. I was just also looking for low maintenance. I'm like starting to feel it, finally. Getting towards the near, does that make sense? Getting towards the near, near the end, near the end of my second trimester. I feel like maybe as of like 25 weeks or so too, I do feel like the belly has been seeing just rapid growth. I feel like whenever I see my belly or like I walk by, I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm at that phase where she's like not too big yet. She hasn't been feeling like heavy or restricting or anything like that. You know, I think the only like symptoms that I've had is like I had heartburn once, but I kind of figured out like how to prevent it was basically don't eat something heavy and don't eat something spicy before bed. I've been drinking peppermint tea at night if I've had like a heavy meal, just trying to walk a little bit, exercise a little bit before I'm like horizontal. Charlie horse, which is like your your leg like locks out. That's from like if you aren't moving enough and if you aren't hydrated enough, so now I know. But other than that, I'm like, I feel great. Like I love, I'm loving second trimester. Once in a while your pregnancy brain, I feel like I kind of forget what I'm talking about every so often. Another side effect is my nips have gone really dark. And I got like these moles on my underarms and they're just really dark. Before it was one solid color and I'm like, okay, it's a it's a pregnancy thing They said it goes back after pregnancy. So I'm like, okay, sure. And I also have the the linea Negria, which is like, okay, I don't Oop. It's like that line right here It's just like really fun interacting with her because I feel like now she's more responsive So like if she's kicking and I rub like she'll kick back really special I've started to have full-blown conversations with my baby because it's good to talk to them because they could hear now their memories um, forming. So there's like certain songs that I play. At first it felt weird, but now I'm like, that is really not that weird. Oh, we did the gender reveal last week. Not last week. Oh, we did the gender reveal last week. So maybe I didn't mention in a video, but we're having a girl. <laughs> I'm sorry. I live with my brain, it's like, it's so scattered. I feel like there's so much going on. And we're having a girl. So excited. Since the baby's not here, I'm still getting like really good sleep and I'm sure it's gonna be so much more hectic once she's here and like my routine and schedule is thrown off. So I'm trying to get as much just done as I can and plan ahead. I've like even told my team, I'm gonna take maternity leave then 
So we're gonna like plan accordingly. But anyway, so very grateful. And that is all. We are at week 30. I'm like double checking to make sure this footage is nice and crispy because last time it was blurry and I didn't even notice. Whew. I am in my third trimester now. The belly is growing. She is bumping. Like second trimester went by in like a blink of an eye. It's like these two very mixed emotions of I think, I feel like time is going by so fast. But at the same time, like I'm just getting more excited by the day as the time passes to meet our baby girl and now we're just like in full-blown like prepping for the baby beyond just like learning about pregnancy going through the bodily changes and like mental physical emotional all of it and i feel like now it's we're actually preparing for the baby so i'm so excited we just had <sighs> we just had our baby shower and it was so cute so beautiful just like celebrating here also the entire baby shower came together so well it was like my pinterest board came to life you know i really everything i pinterest board i have a pinterest board for everything my baby shower i had one for my wedding had one for our nursery and speaking of nursery we're slowly starting to build out the nursery our lovely friends and family have got us so many things on our registry everything is literally sitting in my shower at the moment like still in boxes we haven't unboxed anything we're going on our baby moon slash puppy moon we went on like our baby moon part one at 20 weeks. We went quite early. Callan had a little opening in his schedule. We are going on baby moon part two slash it is pretty much a puppy moon because our lives are about to change drastically, but so is hers. Do you see the tail? Center of the universe. And once a baby comes, you know, that dynamic is gonna change a lot. So we thought it'd be sweet to go on a puppy moon with her. I just have lower back pain but i also expected that just because i'm like your our stomach is just like protruding forward and like you know your body weight is kind of like changing pregnancy pillows have been like my absolute best friends i have three different pillows that i have on rotation which may be excessive but sleep is so important i need to get good sleep in order to like be functioning and be like a pleasant human to be around did my the gestational diabetes test so there's two tests. There's like an hour one. If you pass that one, you're all clear. If you don't pass it, you have to do a three hour one. I didn't pass the first one. I literally forgot, like basically it's glucose, right? So it's like if you eat sugar, it shoots up your glucose, your sugar levels. I don't know. I feel like typically I eat pretty healthy, but I forgot that I had glucose tests on a Friday and on Thursday I went to 85 and I went so hard body like they had like all these like yummy looking cream breads and there's just times where i'm like ravenous i think also i was like also driving it was like a long drive so i ate so much and the next day i was like oh my god it's my freaking glucose test so piece of advice like obviously it's, you have to eat healthy and like maintain a healthy diet throughout your whole pregnancy but leading up to the test like the week of is really important and also the nurse said the whole month leading up to the appointment is really really important so i guess that's my little bit of advice because i forgot i had that test but i passed the three hour one three hour one luckily um it actually wasn't that bad as i thought because i was like oh my god i'm gonna be there for three hours but i mean i feel like it's so much there's so much work to be done and you can do emails social media on your phone so time actually goes by really fast you can like bring a book the last ultrasound was quite a while ago but at this point basically starting from 32 weeks on you start going to your ultrasound every other week and then towards at the last stretch of it you go every week so i'm actually excited to go to the ultrasounds because i like seeing our our like baby in the womb i am at this point only five weeks away from giving birth to our baby girl and progressively i'm just getting so excited to meet her i've been reading and listening to podcasts so i think just like getting educated and gathering knowledge just also puts my mind to ease too just so i'm like okay i know what to expect even though i know that not everything goes according to plan just to know like a general framework i'm definitely mindful of like not over researching like i really like to just know like factual things but i don't like listening to you know other strangers like birth stories or reading on those so i think that's like a fine line the nursery theme is on cloud nine so we did cloud wallpaper we unpacked so much stuff like nothing is in the box anymore like i'm so excited to show you guys the nursery in general i still feel pretty good i feel like aside from first trimester 
this has been a really good pregnancy overall a little bit here and there it's like hard to sleep i have like backache or cramping but other than that i'm really grateful since we're getting so close to the final stretch i'm so like deeply immersed in just prepping for the baby and prepping for motherhood and prepping for this newborn that i don't want to do anything else except for that like i don't want to fucking work and this is a really weird sensation for me because this is like literally even the first time in my life where i'm like i don't want to freaking work like i just want to prepare for this baby and i'm definitely in my nesting phase too yeah so it's a really interesting point i feel like i'm trying to grapple with it because a part of me feels like guilty because i feel like i'm usually such a high output person but i just have not been not been feeling like it this is just special and like rich season of our life that I feel like I shouldn't feel guilty, especially like now that we're just like five weeks out. I shouldn't feel, I shouldn't feel guilty about having these feelings of like not wanting to work. Oh, we did our 3D and 4D ultrasounds. I don't know if you guys have done that before, but technology is so crazy now. I'm sorry, but she's so cute. She's so cute and I'm trying to we we're like trying to figure out like Kel and I were like who does she look like like whose lips does she have? It's I feel like it's really beautiful. Obviously, there's times where I'm like I don't even recognize my body But I just think like the bump is so beautiful and the fact that like your baby is in there There's two hearts in your body right now. Like that's so crazy. We are 37 weeks Going on 38 and I feel like I am just in like the waiting period right now i'm like manifesting she comes sometime next week we'll see honestly guys i feel like if it wasn't for these videos i wouldn't even get ready because i literally just have been living in my pajamas my comfy ass maternity clothes and just like really relaxing as of maybe like this last week and a half i started like my maternity leave so i started winding down a lot of my work because i really just want to be really present and spend a lot of quality time with kellen during this these last final stretches and last weeks um because our lives lives are about to drastically change i feel like this is like the first time in my life where i've actually taken like a break from like working it feels odd but it's actually really nice and i'm really glad i'm giving myself the space to do this also because today like today like my energy is great like we're doing this video but some other days my energy is absolutely shot and i don't want to do literally anything i rather just like sit on the sofa i do make sure to just like get some sort of movement in every day though because especially the days i feel tired i feel like moving has actually helped a lot even though it sounds like counterintuitive like you just want to sit on the sofa and do absolutely nothing everything is packed like i packed my hospital bag and the nursery is also done too i just wanted to shoot some content in in the nursery um because it's super cute right now but we're gonna have a baby nurse li come live with us for the first two months and basically it's called an agama which like directly translates into baby mama uh, and she's actually gonna sleep in the nursery with the baby so we're gonna put a twin bed in there which will kind of like cramp up the space a little bit and we have to like reorganize some things. Every day I'm like, is it gonna happen? <laughs> is it gonna happen? And I don't know because some people, I feel like they deliver earlier, whereas some people will, you know, go past their date. So I just keep telling my baby, I'm like, girl, whenever you're ready, but are we ready? I was looking through some of these clips, like just tracking my progress of my pregnancy growth, but I also feel like it is a hair transformation. I look like a different person every couple of weeks. I'm basically trying to be as low maintenance as possible once the baby's here so i was like let me just cut my hair super short so i don't have to go back for a haircut for a little bit the stretch of pregnancy is coming to an end ready for this next chapter and the other day i remember cal and i were going to our ultrasound and it's quite windy though and then i remember like one of the first appointments that cal and i went to in first trimester and like how hard it was for me to go to that like I was so nauseous in the car. It was so hard getting out of bed. And now I'm just like, I go to this appointment and I'm like, <laughs> my underarms have gotten actually really dark. My keloids have gotten dark too. My skin's been breaking out. So I'm like, eh, it is what it is. Most people say it goes back to normal. Another really odd thing that happened with me is my teeth shifted. So I'm hoping they shift back after. So we'll see. In the waiting period. Make sure it shouldn't focus. One time I recorded this whole thing and it wasn't even focused. focus. 